A space rocket launches vertically. The engines accelerate it at constant 40 metres per second squared. To go into Earth orbit, the rocket must reach 8,600 metres per second. What we have here is a constant acceleration question, so we will use the equations of motion for constant acceleration. Some people know these as the SUVAT equation, S for distance, U for initial velocity, V for final velocity, A for acceleration, and T for time. Now, you will be given these equations in an exam, but it's really useful for you to actually learn them. I'll give them to you here. V equals U plus AT. S equals U plus V over 2 multiplied by t, s equals ut plus a half at squared, v squared equals u squared plus 2as. Try to memorise all of those. Show that the rocket takes over 200 seconds to reach this speed. So what we need to do is identify which of the SUVAT are given to us in the question. The acceleration is given as 40 metres per second squared. This is A. The final velocity is given as 8,600 metres per second. So that's the V. We're also given the initial velocity because we're saying it launches. So the initial velocity is equal to 0 metres per second. And what we're trying to find here is the time. So looking at these equations, the equation that has V, U, A and will give us T is the first one. V equals U plus AT. 8,600 equals 0 plus 40 times T, the T that we're trying to find. Let me just write that again to make it clear. 8,600 equals 40T. To get T on its own, I want to divide this side by 40. And what I do to one side of the equation, I must also do to the other side. So I'll also divide this side by 40. 40 divided by 40 cancels out. So I've just got t on this side of the equation. So what I need to do is to calculate 8,600 divided by 40. Eight thousand six hundred divided by forty, and the answer is two hundred and fifteen. As ever, we must always give units two hundred and fifteen seconds. If I compare that to the two hundred seconds given in the question, it does indeed take slightly over two hundred seconds to reach that speed. Calculate the distance travelled by the rocket from the launch pad until it reaches this orbital speed, the orbital speed of 8,600 metres per second. I'll choose to use the second equation here. That's S equals U plus V over 2 times T. U is 0, V is 8,600, I divide all of that by 2, and I multiply by the time, which I've just calculated, 215. And the answer to that one is 
8,600. Divided by 2 and multiplied by 215. Nine two four five zero zero, and that is the distance, so that will be in meters. Now, some of you will have noticed that I chose to use the second equation, but equally, I could have used the third equation to find the distance, or even the fourth equation to also calculate the distance correctly.